Hello again, and thanks for joining me for another daily devotional. Today I want to begin by reading from the Jewish holy writings, their famous prophet Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 1, which says, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful, and sure. That's the part I want you to notice. Plans done of old, faithful, and sure. This tells us something important about the absolute, about our God. Our universe is not random, this says, but it's based upon an ancient plan. Now, I'm not a Christian fundamentalist, and therefore I do not teach the literalist approach of creation, which is that it happened in seven 24-hour days. On the other hand, I'm not a materialist either who believes that our whole world happened by chance. When I look around at nature, I see that it has order, definite cycles, natural laws and seasons, rhythms that we can read and understand. There's obviously intelligence behind this harmony of life. Within this plan also is our personal human freedom. And I've talked to you before about our freedom of choice and how we should utilize it. Now, the idea of this plan should be coupled with our knowledge that God is also goodness. So uh, this would be a plan that always supports what's best for us. Not every incident, not every event is predetermined because that would remove our freedom of choice. But the bottom line is that we live within the parameters of a good and ancient plan while retaining freedom to determine our own destiny. Only the omniscient one could formulate such a system. Humans never could. In fact, religions and philosophies have been contemplating and discussing this setup from the beginning of thinking, trying to understand God's plan. Well, we don't have to solve this as though it were a problem. Today, we can live in it in an assurance that we live in a good place and are guided by a good plan.